President, federal job training programs are seldom evaluated to determine whether they're meeting their intended purposes. However, when the U.S. is $17.5 trillion in debt, we as representatives of the American taxpayers should do a better job to ensure that the programs we are funding are actually working and working for them. We should pay particularly close attention to programs that receive billions of dollars every year from the federal government when their authorization lapsed over a decade ago. The Murray Isaacson Harkin Alexander Substitute Amendment takes important steps to ensure Title I state and local programs are more accurately evaluated, meeting performance measures and held accountable for unmet goals and unsubmitted reports. More specifically, the bill would sanction state and local programs should they continually fail to meet their performance measures or fail to submit required reports. The substitute amendment does not hold the Department of Labor to similar standards. The department is required to conduct evaluations and to submit such reports to Congress, and I was very pleased to work with Senators Alexander and Harkin to include in the manager's amendment a provision that would require the federal, the, the, the final evaluation reports uh, to be made public and available to the public. In my opinion, requiring the department to post these reports uh, to the department's website is a common sense step toward improving transparency in the WIOA job training programs. Additionally, I worked closely with the HELP Committee Chairman and Ranking Member to further discuss a procurement provision within the Job Corps selection uh, a section of the bill. While I believe there are still some outstanding concerns that we should continue to discuss, I believe everyone's goal is to ensure that the best Job Corps operators are able to compete for these sites. Today, I'd like to offer an additional good governance measure that would subject the Department of Labor to similar sanctions as the states. It would help tackle the problem of the Department of Labor delaying congressionally mandated evaluations, which routinely has been abused by both Republican and Democratic administrations. It is a shame that Congress passing a law requiring the completion of an evaluation by a certain date is not enough to get the job done. My amendment would remedy this problem by reducing the Department of Labor Office of Secretary's budget by 5% in the year a report is due should the agency fail to conduct and release the independent evaluation as required by the bill. This reduction of funds would continue each year until the report's finalized. WIOA authorizes $9 billion each year for the next five years, and Title I represents half of that funding. Therefore, ensuring an independent evaluation of Title I programs is conducted and made publicly available for review and scrutiny by Congress and the American public is critically important for any future modification, renewal, or elimination of programs. I would appreciate the support of my colleagues for the passage of this amendment. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I yield back the floor.